The Apple credit card is being canceled. Goldman Sachs officially wants nothing to do with it. In case you've been living under a rock, there is a huge breaking story growing right now that has lasted way too long. Now, if you don't know, the Apple credit card used to be backed by Goldman Sachs. And unfortunately, Goldman Sachs decided that they did not want anything to do with the Apple credit card because they were taking massive losses. And there was huge talk that American Express was gonna, gonna be the bank to actually pick up the Apple credit card. But that did not happen. It has literally been a year since that story broke. And today I woke up to a notification on my phone from the Wall Street Journal because of course I get it for free because of the Platinum American Express card that JP Morgan is in talks with Apple to take over the credit card from Goldman Sachs. So everything has changed overnight. Well, not really overnight, but over a year. I'll be honest with you. A lot of people said, you know, why doesn't Chase pick it up? And I was like, I just highly doubt that Chase has any interest in picking up this subprime credit card. And apparently I was completely wrong because JP Morgan is in negotiations currently with Apple and Goldman Sachs to take over the card, of course, under their terms. So according to the Wall Street Journal's report, it says discussions started earlier this year and have advanced in recent weeks, but a deal could still be months away, according to people familiar with the matter. It isn't guaranteed a deal will come together given key details, including the price, are still being negotiated. Apple was apparently talking to everybody about this. They were talking to American Express, and we really thought that American Express was going to be the one to pick it up but they also talked to Synchrony Bank, which I'm not a fan of them to pick up this credit card because I'm concerned about the savings account with Synchrony Bank. And then they had Capital One, which would be another good option, but apparently none of those were interested whatsoever and it's literally been a full year. And this kind of makes sense because I forgot about a huge detail that a lot of people don't talk about. JP Morgan already offers Chase Bank customer deals on Apple products and pays the company whenever one of its millions of card customers uses Apple Pay. So they've already worked out a deal previously with JP Morgan, which is really interesting. So I, I, I mean, I'll say I never expected this. I'll be honest with you. And I will say this, I need to explain to you what could potentially happen if this does go through and what this means for all current Apple credit card users. So you wanna make sure that you watch this till the end so you can understand everything so you can know exactly what to expect. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't believe they're gonna close the Apple credit card because they already have 12 million users. That's a lot of credit cards, a lot of credit card balances, and that's a lot of savings accounts that are already open and running. And of course, Apple is making some money from this, but definitely not as much as everyone anticipated. Everyone thought this was gonna be a groundbreaking credit card. It was gonna rake in millions potentially, but unfortunately, because Goldman Sachs went after the subprime market, they have been taking massive losses. And this this is exactly why the team at JP Morgan negotiating the deal wants to pay less than the full face value of roughly $17 billion in outstanding balances with the Apple credit card. Yes, I said $17 billion in outstanding balances with the Apple credit card. That's insane. Even though the Apple credit card is a subprime beginner credit card, I've been rocking with it since day one and it is one of my favorite credit cards. And it's a metal credit card, it's pretty cool. I wanna give a special shout out to all my beasters out there that are working hard to fix their credit using Dispute Beast, the most advanced AI credit repair software ever created. But specifically, I wanna give a shout out to Matthew. Matthew's credit score went up 285 points after one round with Dispute Beast. And Maurice, Maurice's credit score went up 237 points after one round with Dispute Beast also. But let's not forget Shakia. Shakia's credit score went up 215 points after just just one round with Dispute Beast also. Now Dispute Beast link is going to be in the video description and pinned at the top of the comments for anyone that needs to fix their credit. And another reason why I don't believe that Apple is even close to even thinking about closing this credit card because they have been promoting it even after they talked about the merger last year. I literally saw promotions across every single social media platform. So Apple's been really pushing this credit card. And if you go to the website, they're still talking about apply now to see your credit limit. And it is in fact one of the credit cards that you can apply for and get absolutely no hard inquiry. So the no hard inquiry hack is still alive. 
and Goldman Sachs is still taking applications and they're still sending out new credit cards. And if you use the credit card properly, Goldman Sachs has been very generous in the sense of giving everyone high limit credit cards. Usually you can request a credit limit increase every six months. In the past, you could do it almost every 90 days. It was pretty crazy, but they put a stop to that. After you did it a, a couple of times, you're like, hey bro, what are you doing? I mean, my, my Apple credit card goes all up to $15,000 and I never thought that this credit card would be able to get that high, to be honest with you. So what happens when an actual credit card company transfers to another credit card company is the big question here. Are they going to close your account and then all of the benefits are gonna change? That part, we're not 100% sure. The second part, where are all of the benefits going to change? That is a part that JP Morgan is trying to negotiate because a lot of banks, and especially Goldman Sachs, was not happy with the fact that Apple was sending out notifications way sooner than you would normally do with a credit card company, which is causing Goldman Sachs to not make any money on interest and that was the whole point that apple really wanted to do to really use this credit card to educate people more on how to properly pay your credit card because if you go through the system and you go to the apple credit card it's going to tell you like hey if you pay this much this is how much interest you're going to pay if you pay this much you're not going to pay any interest no other credit card does that because guess what banks make money from interest and in this report jp morgan also wants to do away with key components of the card program including apple's requirement that all cardholders receive their statement at the beginning of the month, the people said. This unusual, bi unusual billing structure created customer service issues for Goldman and in turn contributed to regulatory scrutiny of the bank's consumer lending business. And previously, Apple had no interest in changing any of its structures or key components about the credit card. But now that JP Morgan's on the table, they're like, okay, maybe we can talk about this. Is it because maybe nobody else wants to bite on this credit card? And JP Morgan's like, listen, man, you're either gonna do it or you're not because you ain't got nobody else left. So if this merger does happen, what does that mean for all of its users? Now, generally what happens is you're just gonna switch banks. You're gonna get a notice in the mail telling you that that account is switching. You may keep the same account number or they may actually close that account and start you a new account with this new actual bank. But more than often, when I have seen some type of bank merger or a credit card got sold to another credit card company, all they do is they just switch the product out. You keep the same account open. They don't close it. Normally speaking, you know, this is not financial advice or legal advice and I'm not an attorney. So I can't tell you exactly what the deal is going to look like. But normally speaking, these credit card companies know exactly what can happen if they close somebody's credit card. So they're going to try not to do that generally. But the crazier part to think about here is if JP Morgan takes over this card and it switches over to Chase bank then guess what all of these apple credit card users that were once with goldman sachs are all now going to be in the chase bank family and i'm going to tell you a little secret here that you may not want to hear if it does get sold to jp morgan chase chase is not playing around when it comes to delinquencies chase bank has been coming after a lot of people and suing them for unpaid credit card debt so unfortunately if you're someone that defaulted on the apple credit card that debt is still active and the time frame has expired then unfortunately chase may take these debts and actually come after those consumers to actually cash out on those also because at the end of the day even if they buy it for a lower amount guess what they still own your debt and chase bank is not afraid to sue consumers i hate to be the one to tell you but nobody else is going to tell you the truth so i want everyone to be prepared if this does happen because this could potentially happen by the end of the year i'm guessing if it does it'll be before the actual new year or it'll be maybe closer to the beginning of 2025. So tell me what you think in the comments about this. Do you want the Apple credit card to stay with Goldman Sachs, go with American Express, or is it a good look for it to actually move to Chase Bank? I hope you enjoyed this video. We covered another big one on a breaking story of Chase Bank potentially taking over the Apple credit card. Now make sure that you watch this next video because it is about some of the best credit cards that you may not know about. And if you felt that I brought you some value, make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score.